this is where I begin. Our garden is overflowing, but on the road there is no sign of life, all sprayed relentless away, grey black dust suit. But no mind as within a minute, our four feet are upon the moss of the curved basin rocks, and there is too much life to take in here. We climb past the petrified tree, sat like a giant's badly thrown pot, discarded but hanging on, lopsided. Climbed upon by generations and generations, and hardly an obstacle for you at all, now. We creep down the slide of the ashen grey glass, careful, careful, and as the water rushes to meet our further neighbours, the secret beach is exposed, and this is where we shall go, twice a day, passing the igneous and the sandstone, the rock pools and forests, slowly drying in the sun, but sleek it still. You can hold my hand, yet you run off to the heights. I call out warnings, terrified of the ending of my world in a few moments' time. Should you slip or focus on a maroon, red, shellless snail just a little too closely? And here the sand is a renewed virgin. Here my feet slowly sink, the water creeping to my toes, reminding me of my own childhood, the grit under the nail, the blink, and I am there, charcoal in my hand, decorating the rocks with the evil lunged faces, the skull and the crossbow, and then a yelp, and I'm back to you and your calls for attention. I watch the waves, the gulls, the guillemots, and you. And I momentarily confuse a trickle of water with a fat broken heel. I lift and I pop seaweed for a scent achievable nowhere else but my memory. And soon, my son, you will be me, and I will be gone. And when I die, lay my body down, far, far along this furthest strand. Struggle to breathe, perhaps. He did not find his 